Welcome to the Data and Technologies for Citizen Science lesson. I'm Andreas Paciano from Water Resources Research and Documentation Center. First of all, we will briefly describe characteristics and benefits of online citizen science. Then, we focus our attention to technologies and data that can be used in a citizen science framework. In this section, we introduce perks and guidelines of virtual citizen science. Citizen science encourages public participation and dialogue between professional scientists and civil society. Advances in digital transformation and ICTs reshaping public participation and paving the way to human-computer interaction for knowledge co-production. To understand virtual citizen science, two keywords are fundamental, information and communication technologies and digital transformation. Information and communication technologies means a broader system given by the set of processes, activities, software, and data to generate new knowledge, products, or services. Digital transformation refers to a disruptive and broader process that supports or changes organization strategies and values proposition or create new organizational identities. Setting virtual interaction, strengthen citizen science activities in terms of enlarging participation to social media and digital platforms working with remote teams, collaborative management and division of the task, and communication with broader audience. To better perform virtual citizen science, eight simple steps should be adopted. First of all, define clear goals and tasks. Then, synthetic and using and adopting synthetic and non-technical language. Then, interactive, adopting interactive learning tools, supporting user in task expectation, understanding user's, user's expertise, fre frequently reminder of importance of the task, giving feedback on progress, and allow new possibility of learnings and improve the, the skills. Adopting digital supported models provide different types of advantages related to communication efforts, creating active communities, and facilitating data and information exchange. Digital-based models allow to create new space for expert civil society interaction, identification of targeted groups, promoting call to action. Then, provided feedbacks on tool design. What kind of technologies and data we can use in citizen science? Common and user-friendly digital tools are nowadays used to perform scientific tasks. To engage people and collect as much data as possible, citizen science rely on several technologies of commonly used. First of all, virtual platform, that's improving interaction between people, providing solution for data storage, and improving user experience in research activities. Then digital technologies, such as user-friendly tools, such as smartphone or tablets, non, not intrusive technologies that guarantee spatial and temporal coverage of data. Citizen science rely also on social media for improving online interaction, supporting engagement of targeted groups and online communities, and to adopt familiar and pre-existing infrastructure to interact with people. Other complementary source of data and tools that can be used in a citizen science approach are gaining for incentivizing distributed thinking, improving skills and learning, 
motivating participants with awards and get fun. Other technologies are GIS, Geographic Information Systems, and Digital Maps that are useful for localizing voluntary observation, monitoring activities, and supporting intervention. Finally, the artificial intelligence that can improve data validation and analysis. Artificial intelligence is also used for interpreting unstructured data and improving accuracy of voluntary information. We can distinguish three types of the most common data that we can use in citizen science. Official data, voluntary data, and incidental data. Official data means authoritative data provided by expert or institution, such as open data or scientific data. Their use is common as terms of comparison for voluntary data validation. Voluntary data are voluntary observation intentionally provided for scientific purposes. Examples are user-generated contents from social media or digital platform, voluntary geographic information, information that people provide with geographic extension, and survey data. Their usage is common for enlarging spatial and temporal coverage observation at low cost. And finally, incidental data. This kind of data are publicly available on web, but and there are data structure or unstructured. For example, in this kind of data, we can find social media interaction, such as likes, comments, text, qualitative data, but also images or video. Their usage is useful for, for meta-adaptation, analysis of human behaviors, and to monitoring the human interaction. Several initiatives of citizen science are nowadays empowered with digital platforms that provide technical extension to deal with public participation. Platforms such as Anec Data or Spotteron not only provide technical extension, but also are useful for set up project of collective interest and environmental, social, and cultural awareness, and to create and organize online communities around topics of collective interest. Thank you for your attention. For further information, please visit our website and social media channels.